Hello again, I'm Natalia Vasquez, your pelvic health physiotherapist. We are nearly at the end of your program, and by now, your pelvic floor exercises should have been part of your daily routine. If you remember, I explained how important it is to use your pelvic floor during physical activity and exercise. Remember that your pelvic floor and your pelvis doesn't work in isolation. Your pelvic floor connects to your stomach, it connects to your back, it connects to your hips. So it doesn't work on its own. And we need to think of all these structures when we want those pelvic floor muscles to help us with incontinence and with frequency and with any other bladder, bowel or sexual function symptoms that you might have. Right, in your routine, you are doing five times a day pelvic floor exercises, long ones, quick ones, and the ones with the cough. What I'm going to demonstrate is three strengthening exercises for different parts of your body that I want you to try and do whilst you do your pelvic floor exercises. And these will become a little bit clearer when I do them. Right, so the first exercise we're going to do is going to be the bridge. So you might already have a routine, or you might go to the gym, or even if you don't, please try to do this, because that means that your pelvic floor will be able to learn how to work alongside certain activities that you do normally on a daily basis. Okay, the thing to remember and to keep in mind is that when you do the exercise, you're going to use the pelvic floor or you're going to close the doors on the effort. So I'm going to try and explain that again as I am doing the exercise. So let's get on the floor or on the bed. First of all, you're going to take a deep breath in. And as you do that, your pelvic floor should be nice and relaxed. And when you breathe out, you're going to blow. You're going to lift your bottom and you're going to close the doors. And you're going to keep the doors closed for one, two, three, four, five. And breathe in. Open the doors. And as you breathe out, you're going to close the doors and lift your bottom from the bed or the floor. Keep your bottom up for one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in and completely relax your pelvic floor. Open the doors and as you breathe out, you're going to close the doors and keep your bottom up for one, two, three, four, five. Very good. That is three. I'm going to do two more and then we're moving forward to the next exercise. Again, breathe in, open the doors, and as you breathe out, you're going to close the doors and keep your bottom up for five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in and completely let go of the tension, open the doors, and as you breathe out, you're going to lift your bottom from the floor, keep the doors closed, for five, four, three, two, one. And relax. That's the first one. The second one is going to be sit-ups. So for that one, again, what I like you to remember is that you close the doors on the effort. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. Let's do five of those. So you're going to take a deep breath in. So your pelvic floor is nice and relaxed. The doors are open. And as you breathe out, you close the doors and you hold the seat up for five, four, three, two, one, if you can. Then you breathe in and you completely relax the pelvic floor, open the doors. And as you breathe out, you close the doors and you bring yourself up for five, four, three, two, one. And then again, you breathe in, 
open the doors, completely relax as up and as you breathe out, you close the doors and you bring yourself up for five, four, three, two, one. And again, breathe in. You let the pelvic floor tension go, open the doors. And as you breathe out, you close the doors and you lift yourself up for five, four, three, two, one. You breathe in. And as you breathe out, you bring yourself up and you close the doors and you keep them closed for five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Now, the last exercise I want to explain to you today is very easy. It's from a chair. So at any point during the day, please do this. From seat to stand, what I'd like you to do is take a deep breath. So your pelvic floor and the doors are completely open. And as you stand, then you close the doors and breathe out. Then you sit up again, breathe in. And as you stand up, you're going to close the doors as you breathe out. Breathe in again, open the doors, and as you breathe out, you close the doors and you stand up. Two more. Breathe in, open the doors, and as you breathe out, you stand and you close the doors. And last one. You take a deep breath, you open the doors, and as you breathe out, you close the doors and you stand up. Excellent. That was the last exercise. So those are three exercises that I would like you to introduce within your routine. So you're doing five times a day pelvic floor exercises. Try to take three of those to combine the ones that I've just shown you. So then your pelvic floor muscles learn how to work when you're doing something else. It's like learning to do two things at the same time. And that's very important because those muscles need to learn that they need to work when you're doing anything during the day. I wish you the best of luck and I will see you very soon.